Bleeds are loosely defined as any printed material that extends beyond the cut edge of a printed piece. Now bleeds are often overlooked to new users in InDesign because uh, the bleed settings are not visible in a default document box. So if we just open a default document box, you'll notice in the document that the edges are in identified by a black line. And inside that black line are your margins, uh, basically used to establish a safe distance and an equal distance from the edges of the document. Now if we close that document and create a new one, if we click the More Options button, you'll notice the bleed and slug information is revealed. Uh, now by default, the link button here is not usually checked. So if you check that, making sure that it's gray, and you enter in a setting in the first bleed field of an eighth of an inch, 0.125, and you hit your tab key, it automatically populates all your outside parameters. So if we OK the box now, now you see outside of the black edge of the document, there is the red line, which indicates the full eighth inch of the bleed. Now we know that we can put any graphics on here, have them out to that edge of that line, and we're in the safe uh, edge outside of the edge for um, cuts. Now if we place a graphic in there, it's we can't see our edge of our document anymore because of the black graphics. So if we were to reveal that, you can see right where our edge of the document is. So as it stands, this graphic is ready to go. But let's look at it as if the document did not bleed. So let's drag this over here to our zero on the ruler. And if we look at this in preview mode, it still looks OK. But let's select the entire graphic, shift it over just a little bit as if the, this piece got shifted in the cutter and missed it by that much, you're going to have a white edge on the graphic. Now let's undo that. Now let's use the example that we have the black bat background extending out and we have a graphic that's going to bleed as well. So we'll place the graphic that we have on our clipboard, position it out to the edge of our bleeds. Let's view it in our art mode. And uh, you'll see that we're out here roughly close to our bleed. And uh, if we drag that back in to our cut lines and view it in preview mode, it looks fine again. But let's shift that artwork over a little bit as if the cut line were off. Uh, now you can see that the black's going to bleed off, but the graphic won't. Uh, obviously this is an undesirable result. So if we put it back out to the edge where we were, and we view it, and if in the case that it shifted, it can shift quite a way before we realize that uh, the cut is off. So we hope that this has helped establish some bleed settings and uh, we hope you will check out our other videos especially one pertaining to exporting PDFs that would include the bleed marks. Thanks.